Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to BFL Reacts. I'm here today, we're going to be watching Season 1, Episode 2 of The Owl House, titled Witches Before Wizards. I wonder if that's kind of like a, a bros before hoes kind of reference, you know? Um, so, a little bit of an update. I got a brand new mic, so we won't be hearing any of that annoying laptop fan noise. That was kind of a problem in the last episode. I'm new to this. I have never touched any edit video editing software or anything. I'm just kind of trying to find my own lane, you know, trying to figure everything out. One other thing, my I'm dog setting. <laughs> I have my mom's dog here with me, so he might be scratching himself or, you know, begging to be petted for attention for me. Let me turn this TV off. It's shining light on my face. Kind of distracting there. Uh, this lighting is a little insane. Um, I just have every lamp and light in the in the room on. <laughs> big thank you to everyone for the big big support on episode one. As of recording this, the video has been out for like 36 hours or something, and I've got 150 views and like 15 likes and one dislike, but that's fine. I. I myself feel that the video could have been better. I really like the first episode. I really like Luce. I, I think that's how it's pronounced. It's spelled L-U-Z. Uh, I, I think that they were saying Luce in that episode. Um, I guess I'll find out as I hear it more in this episode. And Ida, I think, is the name of the witch voiced by Bojack Horseman's mother. That just really makes me think of Ida from My Hero Academia. <laughs> so anyways, I really liked the first episode. I'm really interested in seeing how things go in this episode. You know, last episode, Luz decided to stay in this fantasy world with Ida and train to become a witch. So I'm really excited to see how things go. And now let's get into it, finally. Alright. Three, two... One, go. I really love the design of all the little background creatures. It wasn't a dream. Okay, so it's picking up right after episode one. <laughs> I don't remember his name. Was he? Did he have a name, or is he just Demon King? Well, they don't call it the Owl House for nothing. <laughs> Karate chop. I love that dude. The door owl. Okay, the Boiling Isles is what it's called. I wonder if that's the name of like their city or country or the whole world. That's a nice witch wardrobe though. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. I am ready for my first day of witch apprenticeship. Oh, an opening theme. Oh, this is fire already. Kind of gravity fallsy. Sure. Oh, characters. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my god. This animation. That was awesome. Okay, yeah, it is loose. I haven't even had my cup of apple blood yet. <laughs> 30 and flirty. Being a witch doesn't happen overnight. Also, you're wrapped in a bathrobe and wearing the dirtiest traffic cone I've ever seen. Aww. <laughs> so is she gonna get magic powers quickly? I wonder if the staff is what produces the magic, or if it's just a way to channel your own magical energy. <laughs> Got to do some side quests. On weekend, I'll only the finest homemade elixirs and potions. Potion seller? No one wants an unoiled snake. They'll deliver packages and sell potions to that town over there. Bonesboro. Some Kiki's delivery service type stuff here. I won't let you down, Miss Ida. <laughs> I'm 
some chiller. Remember, never befriend a man in sandals and always measure twice, cut once. Uh, good luck! So I still don't think I've got his name. Knowing that he's Alex Hirsch, I definitely hear the Bill Cipher in him now. What an optimist. My eyes are down here. Damn. What was on his face then? At this point, Azura had already been sent on an enchanted quest. Where's my quest granting wizard? Pretty. Is this like that school from the ending theme song? Oh, so it's like a dangerous manner. <laughs> I love this dude. Today just got good. Oh no, he's wearing sandals. Ida said Ida said don't trust men in sandals. I wouldn't be drinking that tea. Is this another boyfriend that's obsessed with Ida? Just like episode one? <laughs> oh, hell yeah! For a world without humans... Episode two and there are two situations that can only be resolved by a human, right? Let's go, bad girl. I don't know. Maybe this wizard guy ain't too bad. I'll never know unless I try. I predict that he's going to try to steal the staff from Luce after she gets it, but she's going to be able to use it to beat him. And Ida is going to be impressed and eat her words. <laughs> Sheesh! Hoot! She took the toy sword with her? What's she gonna do with that? Okay, got my scroll, got my useful optimism, got my trusty weapon. <laughs> By the power of Golgoth, I am out of Burnery. Yeah, I definitely got He Man vibes from it the first time it was used. Cat City? With a hot man? Yes, I did make the right choice. Oh. This is where we met the scone. I mean, the wizard. Was it an illusion or something? Oh, no. I bet this whole city is like an illusion. It looks like a Lolan Meowth. Or Perserker. Not Alolan, uh, Galarian. Yeah, this is all way too nice. I wonder what it was that made everything look so nice. What kind of magic? That's disturbing. It's making me nervous that they're kind of blinging her out. Hope they're not like cursed items. I know it's a trap, man. But I really want her to get a powerful staff at the same time, you know? Yes! I am the 
Well, maybe things aren't so bad. Or is it like a gimmick staff? And all the other adventures got it too. Yup, man, no! He's awesome looking. Man. Oh no, they were cursed! I knew it! Man, she really barred him with no plan, huh? Yo, I'm like kind of getting like goosebumps. This is pretty creepy. Beat his ass, loose. Yo, it worked. To the dome. <laughs> oh, did you want some of that? No, I'm just confused. Thinking it was <laughs> She vored him. Whoa. So, they live in the body of a dead giant? Or the skeleton of a dead giant? How did you know that wizard was lying? You wore sandals? Everyone wants to believe they're chosen. But if we all waited around for a prophecy to make us special, we'd die waiting. And that's why you need to choose yourself. I really love the little morals in this show. I really love this outro. It's not as awesome as the intro, but it's very nice and chill. I really love the part where she's like turning and putting her hood on. All right. Yep. No end credit scene. Um, that was awesome. That was like, I don't know if it was better than the first episode or if it's just like, I'm kind of in the setting now and I, have like a basic understanding of the characters, so I was just able to get into it easier. But I really loved that. Um, when the puppeteer dude had loose in that fantasy, and she was like kind of in a sunken place and seeing all the apparitions, like that was that was done like pretty well. I kind of got like a l little tiny baby goosebumps. And if I were a little kid watching this on Disney Channel, that probably would have spooked me pretty good. Nothing like, you know, Courage of Cowardly Dog levels, but it would have been a little spook-worthy. I thought that his design was also super dope. I, I think that the designs in the show are just consistently fire. Like, every background character looks really cool, and every, like, bit character looks really cool. My favorite, like, recurring bit character is, like, the, the owl knocker on the house that stretches around. I... I, I like his bits. I think he's pretty funny. I do wonder when Luce is going to finally get, you know, some, some magic, you know? Uh, I, I thought maybe it was a setup by the wizard because he wanted the staff or something and she would, you know, get it and be able to turn it against him. But no, it was all made up and she got nothing. But she did get a good life lesson from Ida about, you know, paving your own way and not really buying into a prophecy, you know. I, I thought that was pretty nice. I'm definitely going to have to find the intro on like YouTube or something and link that to my friends because that animation was fire. The dog is scratching himself, sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> That's pretty much all I have to say. So uh, thanks for sticking around if you're still here. If you want to see more episodes of me reacting to the Owl House, 
drop a subscribe, maybe drop a like if you liked the video, and uh, tell me what you thought about this episode down in the comments. I really like the uh, community aspect of YouTube. I would really love to have like a little community to be able to talk about cartoons with. That would be super dope. And uh, I think that's pretty much everything. So everyone have a good day or a good evening or good whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys for episode three.